Hi Pisces, this is Heather from the Crystal Vein Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be doing your March monthly reading and this is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Pisces. Now if you don't know your Moon or Rising sign, I have provided a link below this video for you to uh, click on and find that information out. This is going to be a general reading, and as a general reading, messages are going to resonate differently for everyone, so be sure that you check out your moon and rising sign so you get a complete picture of the energies that are around you for the month of March, Pisces. And for anyone who would like to know, I am using the Gilded, Gilded Tarot deck. And uh, again, this is for the sun, moon, rising sign of Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, for the month of March, it looks like there's going to be a lot of giving and receiving um, going on. So you, you could be receiving help from someone or you could be providing help to someone right now. And because you have the Six of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles is about generosity and it's about helping others and it's about others helping you. And it's being crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> so the Eight of Pentacles is, it's the card, it's the Worker Bee card. So um, I, you've, you've, been, um, you've been working really hard. You've been very, um, you've been very hardworking, patient. Uh, you've, been, you've been taking a lot of time into, in, in, and putting a lot of time into what it is that you're doing because you are trying to master your craft or your skills and or knowledge and um, you're also really enjoying what it is that you're doing so, so you have a really nice energy around you for the month of March Pisces and you have the five of wands in the position of your foundation so this is the past conditions that have led you to where you are right now either helping others or getting help from others and working very hard and mastering your skills and developing yourself and the five of wands energy this is an energy that is um, it's about rivalry and challenges and obstacles so sometimes it's also about sport too so that rivalry and challenges this can be something that um, that you use as a source of inspiration or it can be something that you find as an obstacle and it's difficult and challenging for you but i feel like you've been um you've been pushed in some way um to, to really develop yourself so i feel like this is more of a challenge and it's a personal challenge for yourself yeah to, to develop yourself develop your skills and um and again, you have this, this very positive giving, receiving energy that's around you. And I, I feel like it's, I don't feel like you're doing the giving or the receiving. I feel like this is more of a reciprocity type of situation where um, there's a balance of giving and receiving. So you're putting out and you're, you're helping others and, and you're getting that back from others in return. And then you have the page of cups in your past condition. So this is a very recent past con condition. Um, or past position. So this is things that are moving uh, into the background. So this energy could still be lingering around you, but it is slowly making its way into the background. And pages, uh, pages, knights, queens, and kings. So the court cards, they can actually represent individuals that are in our lives. And pages generally represent younger people. So it could be a child or a teenager, but um, it can also be someone that just has a very youthful energy. And you recognize the Page of Cups because this is someone who is, if it is someone around you, then this is someone who's very studious. It's a studious, um, hardworking kind of individual. But this can also be your energy as well, Pisces. And Cups is, is water energy and you are one of, one of the water signs. So um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio are the water signs. So, and I am feeling like this is more your energy, Pisces. And this is that you have been you've either found um you've either found it's, it, it, this can play out this can be playing out in your life one of three ways so you could have um you could have a new love that's come into your life or you could be finding that you're falling in love with something um, in your life so this could be a new passion for this 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 work that you're doing this hard work um this can also be about volunteer work and you volunteering and um, but it can also be about a message that's come into you or information that's come into you regarding something that you're passionate about and that, that provides emotional fulfillment for you. And then you have the Ten of Swords crowning you. 
So this is in the position of your strengths. Um, so whatever challenges that you have been facing, um, whatever obstacles you did have going on in the past, do know that that is over. So if you've been working really hard because you've been struggling with something, then in that case, that just with this Ten of Swords energy, this is a completion. So that, do know that that is um, that that difficult or challenging situation is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. And this is because it's in the position of what's crowning you. This is what's coming in to help you or your strengths. So this is spirit letting you know that it is coming to an end. But I also feel like it's coming to an end because you have decided to make any difficulties in your life come to an end. Any challenges that you've been experiencing, you've just decided to let them go, come to the end, and you're, you're done with it and you're moving on. And that that's your own inner strength. So then you have the sun card here in the position of your near future. Or what is coming in and developing from the situation. So it's really lovely to see this here. The sun card is, this is all about material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. This is the universe shining down on you and blessing everything that you're doing. So this is where you, you kind of have that, that Midas touch or, or, you know, lady luck is on your side and, and everything that you do um, just comes up roses, right? It's, it's that kind of an energy that's around you that you're blessed and you're protected by the universe. So whatever, whatever endeavor you have going on, whatever you are um, skills that you're trying to master or develop, whatever work you're doing that you're enjoying right now, it's leading to, to success in the future for you and um, it's going to be very rewarding for you. Okay, and then you also have the Nine of Pentacles here in the position of um, what this is in the position of your current attitude or your point of view towards the situation. And the Nine of Pentacles is all about being surrounded by, um, by um, luxury and financial gain. And But this is because you've done it on your own. This is about self, you being self-sufficient and um, this is you enjoying solo pressure pleasures because you've you've earned everything that you have um, been able to accumulate and, and the abundance that you have in your life you've earned it and you've earned it because you've been working very hard at it to develop it because you know you have the eight of pentacles and it's followed by the nine of pentacles so this is your efforts and this is how you're seeing the situation you are recognizing that this is this is something that is um is, is a success for you. It's allowing you to be very self-sufficient. It's allowing you to have financial gain and surround yourself with luxury. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles here. And this is also what you need to know. Um, this can also represent work or home that is influencing the situation. So if this does represent an individual around you, Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles is Earth energy. So that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So you could have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn around you that's helping you and influencing you right now. So perhaps even guiding you and advising you in um, like what direction to take and um, and just helping you plan. And again, this could be that giving and receiving here with that Six of Pentacles. This could be you receiving advice from this person as well. And um, you do have a lot of Pentacles energy here in, in this reading. So I do feel like this is more about uh, your money, career, finance, abundance, and, and how you surround yourself with abundance and how you create a stable, secure, and um, safe feeling in your life. And then you have the Page of Pentacles too. So again, this can represent another person, but this is in your hopes and fears and, and the work that you need to do behind the scenes. Um, so this, uh, you know, this I'm really feeling is, is your energy, Pisces. But that Pentacles energy, the page, page of Pentacles energy is about being very patient um, with everything that you're doing and just knowing that your hard work and your... Um, will will pay off in the long run and um, and this is about you being very reliable to and resourceful with your in everything that you're doing but the page can also represent a new job opportunity uh, raise or even money news that's coming in for you as well Pisces and then you have the ten of wands in your future position and I am going to clarify this so the ten of wands is it's, it's a card about exhaustion and having too many burdens and being stressed out. And part of that, I think, is because, so here, there's a little bit of a warning in here. It, it's, I mean, 
it, it sounds negative and it, it kind of is, but it isn't Pisces. And it isn't negative because, I mean, it is the 10. Tens are completions, ending of cycles. So that means that the burdens and stress will come to an end, but it is in your future position or, or potential outcome or where you're headed. So potential outcome. So I, I feel like what's happening here is because there's so much pentacles energy that you're so focused on creating that that stability and that security in your life and, and more likely with financial security or even like you could be working to buy a home you could be working to start a business you could be there's so many different things or even even start a family and being able to provide for your family so that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling with this and um, so that takes you away from your loved ones and I feel like this is where this stress exhaustion and feeling like you're having too many burdens is you're so focused on that stuff that you're taking on so much and you're doing it because you do have the worker bee card here and you are enjoying it um, but eventually that catches up to you and eventually you can burn out. So the little bit of warning here for you Pisces is that um, make sure that if you if you do start feeling stressed out, if you do start feeling exhausted, make sure you take a little bit of time for yourself, even if that means just going away for a weekend, if that even just means going for a walk in the woods um, or taking some time to sit and meditate or you know go to the movies and, and have a night out then then do that if you're feeling that way make sure you do that Pisces because you want to have that life work balance for sure so I'm going to pull some clarifiers or a clarifier for that ten of wands okay an ace of pentacles and it's so ace of pentacles another pentacles and so again this is a new beginning or new opportunity for you it kind of just solidified that page of pentacles um card that you pulled or that I pulled earlier for you so a new opportunity it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it but that re would represent like a new job raise promotion investment new income opportunities just something that that can help you to create that stability and security in your life I'm um, usually related to that earth energy again which is physical tangible items that you can hold so this is your home this is your money this is your possessions so it can even be your physical health as well so it's that kind of energy and that opportunity is coming in and so you are surrounded with opportunities and I feel like you want to take them all and you want to take advantage of all of them um, because you do have that worker bee card and, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just be, do make sure that you take some time for yourself when um, when you are feeling tired and stressed out. Okay, Pisces. So now I'm going to pull a angel tarot card. For any last little bits of insight or wisdom from spirit regarding this reading. So let's see what we have. And we have the Ten of Fire. Too much work. The Ten of Fire is about too much work and making sure that you're accepting help from others. Um, because your life could become out of balance and you could um, have end up having stress related health concerns so again and that's you know with this one here um, with that ten of wands showing up um, and even even with this uh, six of pentacles here and that giving and receiving make sure there is help around you there are people supporting you Pisces so make sure you are accepting when people extend that help and extend those offers uh, because you don't want to let your life get out of balance and out of control and you don't want to have those stress related concerns so just make sure you are taking time for yourself and listen to your body so I'm going to pull, pull one final card this is a romance angel card oracle card and let's see if we can get any little insights or wisdom related to your love relationships and family so Pisces we have new love so there could be a new person that has come in to stir romantic feelings. And again, that's that kind of um, relates to that page of cups energy. So you could be inspired by someone um, on a romantic level or even if it's not related to um, romance and it's not so much a new love. It could be like a new best friend coming in. It could be a new um, business partner that's coming in, someone that you have a lot of mutual respect and someone that you would you can... Um, you can develop a really close bond with and a really good working relationship with. 
but or again it can also be that you've met someone new and um, and they've, they've you know especially if you're single and you're looking um, it's a very nice card to have so Pisces this concludes your reading for the month of March I am doing things a little bit differently I'm not doing the mid-month readings anymore I am now doing weekly pick a card readings and for any of those any of you who have been watching those, uh, please please send me some comments and let me know what you think about those readings and if you want me to keep doing them. Um, I, I find they're a lot of fun to do and I really enjoy doing them. So I'd really like to um, hear what you, you guys have to think of, have to say about those. So again, please like, share, subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the uh, monthly April reading comes out. So thank you for watching Pisces and take care.